Hello friends in this video tutorial we are going to learn how to use Morris JavaScript chart library with PHP code and MySQL data. In our one of the video tutorial we have already described how to use Google chart with PHP. But now we have learned one more chart library Morris and how could we make different chart by using this library with PHP and MySQL. Morris.js is a JavaScript graph library based on the very competent Raphael.js. Morris Charts library has makes the chart from data much more easier. We only just directly pass MySQL data to Morris Charts JavaScript and we have make chart like line chart, area chart, bar chart and many more and it is my one of the favorite tools to display data through graph or chart on the web. Now let's start learning this topic, this are testing database and in this we have one account table with 5 table column like id, year, purchase, sale and profit. In this table we have already inserted last 10 years purchase, sale and profit data. So we will display this data on different Morris chart like line, area and bar chart. This is our index page we have include following CDN links for Morris chart. First link is for Morris chart CSS formatting, second link is simple JavaScript library query link, third is Raphael JavaScript which are required to implement Morris chart on the page and last link is a JavaScript library link of Morris chart. So this all files links are required to implement Morris graph on web page, if you have missed any of the link your chart will not display on web page. Now on this page first we have defined one division tag within chart, under this division tag we will load chart on web page. First we want to fetch data from MySQL table, so we have to make database connection, so we have write dollar connect variable is equal misclick connect function with four parameter like host name set to local host, username set to root. Password set to blank and database name set to testing. After making database connection, we have write dollar query variable is equal select query like select star from account table. This query will fetch data from account table. After this we want to execute this query and store result. So we have write dollar result variable is equal misclick query function with two parameter. In first parameter we have write database connection string dollar connect variable and in second parameter we have write dollar query variable in which we have store select query. This function will execute select query and store query execution result into dollar result variable. Below this we have write dollar chart data is equal to blank value, under this variable we will store data for display in chart format. Now we want to fetch data from dollar result variable, so we have write while loop with dollar row variable is equal to miscly fetch array function with dollar result variable argument. This function will convert query result to array format. Under this while loop we have write dollar chart data variable and in this variable we have append data for chart. So we have write open curly braces and write table column year double colon and write dollar row year variable. For display chart data so we have defined data in this format. After define dynamic year data, now for display profile table column data we have write profit table column with double colon with dollar row profit variable. This is for display profit data. Same way for purchase table column data we have write purchase table column with double colon dollar row purchase variable. It will display purchase table column data. And lastly for display sale table column data, we have write sale table column with double colon with dollar row sale variable. It will display sale table column data on chart. 
Here you can see we have right ear column data under single quotation mark because it is for x axis data which we should define in text format and other data like profit, purchase and sale data without quotation mark because it is for y axis data. Lastly, we want to remove last two extra character from dollar chart data variable, so we have write dollar chart data variable is equal to substring function with first argument like dollar chart data variable, in second start we have write zero and in third argument length in which we have write minus two. This code will remove extra two character from dollar chart data variable. Now we have moved to write JavaScript code for making chart from Morris JavaScript chart library. So here we have write Morris.line. Here Morris keyword will initialize chart library and line is the type of chart. So here we have initialize Morris line chart. Under this first we have define first option element and here we have write chart. It is an it of the element in which to draw the chart. In second option we have write data option, in this option we can define chart data records and each entry in this array corresponds to point on the chart. So here we have write echo statement with dollar chart data variable in which we have store chart data like here, profit, purchase and sale in array format. Then after we have write text keys with your table column name. This is the name of the data record attribute that contains x values. In fourth option we have write y keys with column name like profit, purchase and sale in array format. It is a list of names of data record attributes that contains y values. In fifth option we have write labels with name like profit, purchase and sale in array format. This are labels for the Y keys and will be displayed when you hover the chart. In sixth option we have right hide hover set to auto. This option will only show the hover legend when the mouse cursor is over the chart. So, these are the option we have set for line chart so now we have saved this code on check output in browser. Friends here you can see that when has been loaded then you can see the table data like here, profit, purchase and sale table column data has been seen on web page in line chart format by using Morris chart library. We can easily understand year by year our profit has been increased with increase in purchase and sale data. When we have move mouse cursor on particular year then we can see that year profit, purchase and sale data. Now we want to see this type of data in Morris area chart format, so we have go to index page and here we have change line keyword to area chart name and save this code on check output in browser. Friends when we have refreshed the page then you can see that line chart has been converted to area chart without changing anything just we have changed name from line to area. So in area chart we have used previous data which we have used for line chart. So here you can see that blue color defined data for profit, gray color defined data for purchase and green color defined data for sales. This chart provide information regarding profit, purchase and sale data for last 10 years. Now we want to see this data in bar chart format. So we have go to index page and here we have change name from Maria to bar and save this code on check output in browser. Friends you can see when we have refreshed the page, chart format has been to area chart to bar chart and this chart also display last 10 years profit, purchase and sales data in bar chart format. 
So here also we have used same data which we have used for line chart. So this is the one of the advantage of Morris chart, one data we have used for many chart format. Now we want to see the bar stacked vertically, so we have go to index page and here we have a on option stack defined to true. This will arrange bar stacked vertically. So we have saved this code and check output in browser. Friends you can see that first we have refreshed the page for check updated output. When we have refreshed the page, bar has been stacked vertically in which blue color defined profit data, gray color defined purchase data and green color defined sales data. So this we can use chart property as per our requirement. This way we can use Morris chart library for making chart from MySQL data by using PHP script. If you like this video tutorial please share this video with your friends or even you can also share this video tutorial on social media like Facebook Twitter. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial please subscribe our YouTube channel for future video tutorial update. Thank you for watching this video.